Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how I moved from my old bullet journal to a brand new one. I know, it actually has been two months since I moved to the new journal, but I don't need the first pages of the journal until my school starts, so that is why this video got delayed. Anyways, the beautiful journal I have is in deep green color, which I love for two reasons. First, this color is said to be Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him, favorite color. And secondly, my recent very real obsession with plants for sure took a part in picking this color. I start my first page by making a grid guide, which will help me in designing different spreads and save me some time on counting the number of boxes every time I sketch anything new. The divisions I have are into halves, thirds, and fourths. Now on to the quote page. The quote for this half of the year is, He grants wisdom to whom he pleases. From the Quran, chapter 2, ayah number 269. For the calligraphy, I'm using my deep blue zig calligraphy pen in size 3 millimeters and for accents the same pen in size 2 millimeters for english calligraphy i'm using tombow fudenosuke brush pens I had always been using only the black for the Nosuke pen, but recently I got a pack of colorful brush pens that you will see quite a lot on these spreads, and you might have already noticed them in my August bullet journal spread. Here I'm using my Crayola markers to add some sun rays. At least that's what it was supposed to be. If you would like to see more of my art, visit me at www.artofcolumn.com as well as on my social media handles that are in the description box below. Now it's time for a year at a glance. In my old journal, I created a year at a glance for a full year, but this time I just need the remaining six months of the year that is July, August, September, October, November, and December. You can watch my July and August monthly spreads already on my channel. And also you can download a free printable for August monthly overview from my website under free resources. Previously, I left the numbered boxes without an outline, but not this time. I also left some space to the side of each month so that I can have some space for additional notes I would like to make pertaining to the specified month. The top of the right page was left so empty without a header, so I decorated it with a string of golden polka dot washi tape. Now 
Next page will be my dreams and ideas page. I made a very similar one in my old journal. These two pages are basically a small brain dump of ideas I have for the future of Art of Column. The left page is for YouTube videos ideas and the right page is for general projects and merchandise I plan on doing in the future. Now on to my school organization spreads. First one is a schedule for my classes this fall. I'm currently admitted to a second semester of a nursing program. There are a total of four semesters in the program, but the time flies by so fast and I cannot wait until I graduate, inshallah. Because of the pandemic, we have been very limited in our courses and we are not able to fulfill all of our hours in the hospital, unfortunately. But Alhamdulillah, at least the doors to school are open and we are not forced to stop our program. I am thinking about doing some more school organization videos on this channel. I'm planning to move all of my paper notebooks into my new iPad so that I can reduce waste and have everything available on my small device. If you'd like to see new content like this, let me know what specifically interests you and you'd like to see. Last but not least, a new semester at a glance spread. I made one for spring semester in my old bullet journal, however I made it late into the semester and it was not included in the video. But here it is and it is honestly my holy grail for nursing school. Here I will have all of my exams, quizzes and assignments listed so that I won't forget any deadline. To do this, first I made something similar to a year at a glance spread. But the boxes for numbers of the day are one and a half box wide and tall instead of one box. And I will soon explain why. Next, the other half of the page I separated into another half so that I can have more space for all assignments. On the top of the left page, I left some space for the key, or you could call it a legend. There I will have the colors listed for a specific assignment I need to do and then mark that color on the calendar. Then, in the divided empty section, I will list a number of the day of the month 
and next to it the name of the assignment I have due on that day. I hope that makes sense. Lastly, I made this calendar overview bigger than the regular ones because I'm dividing each day into four parts and it is because very often I will have more than one assignment due on a specific day so not to mix up my colors, I will color each quadrant with an adequate uh, number of colors needed. And this is it. Here is a flip through the first pages of my new bullet journal. Let me know what do you think about it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You should also check out my other social media handles. And I will see you the next time. Assalamu alaikum.